TVA is actually a factory automation company, so we do robotics and factory automation. Our area of expertise is the management of liquid materials. To explain it simply, we glue stuff together using robots. I get a kick out of coming to work every day just because I really like the people I work with. My favorite thing about working at PVA is the people. Very talented group of people, uh, driven people. It's a big family working environment. All of us show up every day. We enjoy working with each other. Atmosphere, work environment. You know, you almost feel like you're coming to a second home. I started this business in the basement of my four-room house. I would build the valves on the weekends. I'd sell them during the week. Had a little office upstairs. Now we're a full automation shop. We've had rapid growth over the years. Trying to manage our production and trying to figure out production processes on our own. Uh, we did well, but you know, good is not great. PVA was straining under a number of growth-related pressures. And as we started to look at those things, what became clear is that all this growth we were experiencing was actually hiding an underlying problem that was being disguised by a overall environment of rapid growth. You know, we were putting forth efforts on individual levels. Individual departments were working independently, but we weren't coming together as a group to actually achieve the goal for our customer need. You know, you spent more time running around looking for things than you actually did assembling the equipment. So it was a combination of a few different things that all kind of come together in one perfect storm. Consistently having to work Saturdays over time and everything, no matter how hard you worked, almost seemed like it would always inevitably be late. It just wasn't, for whatever reason, being effective, which we later learned was because we were at a crossroads and we needed to change how we were actually operating. What Toyota helped us do is start to think about a way of really simplifying the process of solving problems. First step is identifying the problem. Communication we found out to be one of the biggest ones. So if somebody had a problem, that problem wasn't getting identified right away. Putting the extra effort in and helping do things that you normally wouldn't be asked to do and still not meeting your goals was, was frustrating. So our problem was actually falling productivity. And the second step is clarifying the problem. So use actual metrics, facts, figure out where the problem's occurring, why it's occurring, how it's occurring. At any given time within this area, we'd have 15, 16, 17 machines uh, being worked on, and a lot of that was because we'd be missing a part. Parts come in, they would end up with who knows where. It could end up with the machine, it could end up with my part of the build. After that, we have to set a target. That was one of the biggest things, is setting where do we want to go. We can't just say we want a problem to disappear. When do we want it to disappear by? Then after that, just boiling down to what the root cause is. Then working together to figure out what a countermeasure is. And it's not just the first thing that comes to mind, really exploring every single possible option. We generally were having problems producing the things that we needed because we were oftentimes using our resources and capacity to overproduce things that we didn't need into inventory. We used to build everything in batch mode, uh, quantities of 25 or even higher. Uh, one of the things that we learned was to decrease those batch or lot sizes. They're much more manageable. Lastly is implementing it, figuring out when we're going to do it, who's going to do what, and uh, staying updated with each other. You know, meeting in the morning with the uh, YTT, you get your problems out there first thing in the morning. That's the first thing we do, so then you can set goals for the day on what needs to be accomplished, and our problems are starting to become fixed in real time. You know who to go to. Everybody understands the urgency of each um, of each issue that you might be having. What we've done is, is transform our entire production floor into uh, really one piece, continuous flow, just in time process. Every single machine has a specific spot. Everything within this area has a designated spot and it's helped to really increase our communication and create that flow that we're looking for while we're working. I haven't worked a Saturday since April, so it's November now, so that's, that's been great. The stress, it's not there anymore. People have 
realize that you know they bring up an issue and it's going to be solved you know immediately. Seeing that somebody doesn't have to waste uh, an hour of their time, an hour of their valuable time doing frustrating and repetitive work, uh, really it makes a big difference. It brings a lot of joy to what I'm doing. Things like delivery dates are met. When customers come in for runoffs, we're prepared. It just makes a smoother transition from the day the order comes in till the machine ships out of our place until it gets installed on the factory floor where its end destination is going to be. That just takes stress out of us, takes stress out of our customers, just makes for a better working relationship for everybody. Now that we really have this lean environment where work is easier and we have all this capacity uh, to focus on the growth and future of this business, it's my opinion that the, the future for PVA is very bright. Mm -hmm.